everyone welcome back to jesse at home we are going to be decorating the outside of my house for christmas i'm just showing you our truckload of outdoor christmas decor it looks like a lot but honestly i still feel like i don't have enough for out here we went from a tiny little front porch front yard to this massive yard a massive front porch and it just takes time um i'm definitely one of those that likes to acquire things as the years go i'm sure in like 10 15 years this whole porch will be decked out perfectly but i just don't have the money <laughs> to do that right away i'm definitely a realistic uh homeowner and decorator so it's just going to take time for us to get the the dream porch decoration going on but um, we're just unloading everything from the truck we keep all of our holiday decor up in our big shop attic so my husband has a big um, pole shed shop at the back of our property and it has a pull down attic and it is conditioned so things don't get moldy and musty up there and so that's where we keep a lot of our holiday decor it's very nice to have very handy but I am doing what everyone dreads. I'm <laughs> laying out all of the white icicle lights. I'm pretty boring when it comes to my outside decor. We don't do a bunch of like light displays or inflatables or anything crazy like that. We're reusing everything that we've had in previous years. Um, I did buy one new item, which didn't come for this video, of course. It was $15 off of Amazon and it was to go in between my two garage windows. We kind of have like a void voided space there so i finally found something that i was really excited about and of course it didn't come in time for the video but i'll have to up update you on instagram so you can follow me on instagram to get any updates but my husband and i are just going through and untangling and replacing any bulbs and just getting things ready for him to get up on the ladders and put lights on this house So a disclaimer here, my husband says, do a disclaimer, don't do as I do, do as I say. Make sure you wear um, fall protection, anchor yourself when you're on a ladder. Um, you definitely probably shouldn't do a ladder on a roof like that, but he is a professional, he does this a lot. He's on roofs and, and does all kinds of things so he probably should be doing this i probably shouldn't be filming him doing this this is very dangerous he could fall off and break his neck but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do um and we got it done and um we, we didn't have my uh oldest son's help this time he was working but my um my daughter was babysitting baby malcolm just so we could power through and get this done as fast as possible we were expecting rain which just took us two days because after we finished the lights um, it rained the entire next day, so we had to take a break after putting on the lights to decorate the rest.
So I am using the white icicle lights. I think they're really pretty. Like I just love them. I think they're kind of like classy. Um, but I also have a soft spot for the oversized colored lights. And I love houses that do the light show, the colored light shows and everything. I think that's so neat and so cool. I just kind of love it all. I, I kind of love it all. So I was telling my husband because my husband and my daughter was like, oh, can we do color lights? I'm like, well, not this year because we're not going to replace everything this year. But maybe when these icicles die out um, in a few years, we'll replace it with the oversized um, colored lights to do a little bit of like a retro thing out here. I don't know. Um, so let me know what you do. Do you decorate the outside of your home? Do you use color lights? Do you use icicle lights? You know, what, what is on the plan for you for decorating outside? Do you put a tree outside? Um, I do eventually have plans to do some swag garland, some light, some more lighted garlands and different things out here. Um, I'm probably definitely going to be checking out the outside decor sales is probably gonna be happening sooner than later don't wait till after christmas <laughs> go in now and see if anything's on sale because this stuff goes fast um so i'm gonna check out some sales and see if i can find anything that i can um add to our decor this year or save for next year So we're taking down those um, baskets with the spring flowers in them and I'll like refresh them and wash them and replace them and fill them for um, when I clean and decorate out here for spring. But it's so funny because every single one of those baskets had a bird nest in it. So I definitely made a home for some birds over the spring and summer. There's no birds anymore. They don't come and go anymore. So. Um, you know, it was safe to remove the nest. I do let them nest and don't bother them, but I thought it was funny that every single one of those baskets had a old retired bird nest in it.
face every time the snow is falling down and it is cold outside we gather around the fireplace and no one cares about yesterday So huge props to my husband for getting this all done. We powered through it. Um, it's a lot on his like knees and back um, to be maneuvering up and down these ladders and to be moving this huge um, extension ladder. It's they're, it's super heavy. Like it is really, um, really heavy to maneuver around and find a footing and just like to use. Um, I can't <laughs> use the extension ladder at all. It's so hard to do. So. Big props to him for getting it done so we can surprise our little toddler with all of the Christmas lights. I will be sharing night shots of the lights that we just put up, but first I want to kind of show you some before shots of the areas that I'm going to be working on. Um, I'm going to be moving furniture out of this little gazebo area, moving the fire pit um, as well. Um, but first I'm going to be working on this little area. I'm going to be getting rid of this little tree. It was inside and then I moved it out here. I'm replacing it with a little Walmart tree. This, this, this tree used to be um used in my dining room in my previous house and then i've just been using it out here in this house and i absolutely love it i think it's so cute it's from walmart i think it was like 25 bucks when i first bought it like eight years ago or something crazy um and i'm moving this bench over here i didn't want to block the window because malcolm loves looking out the window so i didn't want to block anything so i kind of like the angle that i ended up with um for this bench i might keep it over here and I needed to wash down um, a lot of the stuff out here. It just gets really dusty and dirty um, with pollen and dust and just, you know, everything going on out here. So I just want to give everything a good wipe down as well. just doing a subtle switch out of my welcome mat this one um, has little holly berries on it and says welcome so it's not super like in your face Christmas but it's just a little bit of a change from the plain welcome mat I'm gonna be adding a wreath to my door as well um, I do need to find a bigger wreath I know the wreath kind of looks a little bit small for that area um, I'm adding the second Walmart tree over in this corner and dragging this 
fire pit over. We have loved having the fire pit on the porch. There's plenty of clearance. It's not a fire hazard. There's no smoke or no, no like issue whatsoever. It meets the guidelines for using the fire pit um, area. I probably will end up pulling it out a little bit when we use it from against the window. But it's, we've been using it on the porch since probably we closed the pool area. Um, and that's why we ended up saying yes to get the other fire pit for the back. Um, this was already up front when I said yes to doing the fire pit out back because we have used this fire pit up here so much. Um, and we love it. We love people watching. We love watching the cars. And it's just so nice to have the fire pit on when we're swinging on the swing with Malcolm. And this is just such a cute little area over here. I love the way that this turned out. From the minute we purchased this home, I knew that my Christmas tree was going to go in here. And this is the tree that we had for years. This used to be my inside tree at my old house, and then the lights um, burnt out. So when I said we're going to stick it outside, I wanted to get the big, um, I think they're like C9 lights. Just they're bigger bulbs, and I think they look really good. You can see them well from the road. Um, so I'm just stringing those around the tree, even though this used to be a pre lit tree. Um, this tree definitely doesn't owe us a dime because we have used it for so long and we'll continue to use it until it just falls apart. The one thing I wish I could change was the extension cords that go all over the place when you're trying to decorate. I always say Christmas decorations are viewed best from afar because then you can't see all the, um, you know, the ugly extension cords and things running here and there and, and different things and timers and, and all that jazz. But, um, you know, that's life. Eventually we'll add um, outlets to the areas that we need. Um, and so we won't have to run cords all over the place. But now I'm going to jazz up my side kitchen door. I'm really excited about this. My husband is also going to be hanging some icicle lights on the peak here as well. But I'm just going to start by putting this lighted garland around the door. So this little tree I got from Big Lots forever ago as well. And I'm just taking the rest of this garland and wrapping it around the tree. So the light bulbs um, match the garland because uh, this tree blew out as well. <laughs> so instead of putting different lights on it, I wanted the lights to match. So this kind of works out plus it kind of fills in the tree. And here is the twilight shot. It's not exactly night. If I get too dark, then the video becomes grainy, but I love it. So we have some of those big colored lights on the pathway. We have the icicle lights and they look different, like colored, but they all match. Don't worry. We have our little projector. We have our tree. We had to um, tie the tree to the post so it won't fall over. Um, we have our little fire pit area and our swing. I just think it's so pretty and I am so excited for Malcolm to see everything. We have our little deer that we bought when, the, when we first moved in. Um, 
he is just so excited he loves all of the lights he can't wait to swing on the porch swing and look at all the lights he is so excited and here is our little area by the front door um super cozy and i'm sure malcolm's going to get into everything but that's just light and here is our fire pit we can sit here and enjoy the warmth of the fire pit while watching the cars go by and just be cozy on the front porch. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it inspired you to decorate a little area in your home. Um, I'm ex super excited with the way that it turned out and we got some color lights for my daughter and husband. Um, I just think it looks really magical too. So honestly, it's probably for me as well, but definitely hit that like button, hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my uploads and I will see you next time.